no cap cardi b is the best to ever do it yo what's up guys it's your man's super and we're back at it again today we're gonna star rouge so let's break it down rouge has a rectangular body shape so basically her shoulders and waistline are pretty much almost the same a lot of models have this body shape which means it makes it extremely easy or easier to style and this is because you can pretty much do anything with it if you feel like having an upside down triangle that day which means having more volume on the top and less on the bottom you can do it if you feel like having a pear shaped body that day which means having more volume at the bottom and less on the top you can do that too <laughs> if you feel like having an hourglass you can do that and it's pretty much just by setting certain illusions that makes the person seem like they have more curves in different places so let's get right into it look number one so for look number one we have this crop t-shirt followed by these human made motai pants finishing it off with these nike dunks <laughs> those nike dunks are fire by the way you see like the little velvet pieces on the side <laughs> too much so let's break down why we chose this look so we have the crop t-shirt and the motai pants i think these two would give an illusion of more of a figure and more curves within a rectangular body shape this is because the crop t-shirt gives volume to the upper body and the motai pants gives volume to the lower body this is what these two items would do they'll show off they'll show off her nice abdomen but also give volume to her upper body and her hips then we just wanted to finish it off with the dunks because dunks seem to have rejuvenated and came back in 2020 uh, you can see them everywhere i chose these particularly because they have a slight slightly more feminine touch and they just wild as hell these strange loved ones you see the velvet on the side bruh don't play with me bruh bruh yeah these things go in and you see you see the bottom too they got like something at the bottom but I think this fit would just suit her on brand very well. Just kind of upscaling what she normally does with this, with an athletic look. Just making it more chill. Like it's just making it more cool. And that's what I wanted to do with look number one. Something that's rouge. I'm not taking it too far away. Um, but also adding curves. So if you're a rectangular body shape, this is something you guys can try out. Is look numero dos. Where you going, Mons? <laughs> Yo, guys, so for look number two, we have this very simple but not so simple look. I wanted to start it off with this cool asymmetrical dress by Alexander Wang, followed by these cowboy boots, and then a necklace just to finish the whole look off. So let's dive right into it, Mons. Let's see what we handling over here. <laughs> Alright, cool. So one thing about having a rectangular body shape is that you want to create different dimensions and make your look a whole lot more interesting. How do you do this? Is by having a lot of asymmetrical and different there's a flat. Sorry. <laughs> and having a whole lot of different shapes and you know figures within whatever you're wearing whether it be a, a t-shirt a dress a skirt asymmetry just adds dimension and uniqueness to your whole look so with this alexander wang dress this is exactly what we get we get different volumes in different places playing with the body but also having a waistband so it ties in by her waist you know also giving her this hourglass shape because it has an open shoulder and with the waistband kind of holds by the waist and lets out by the hips so we have this hourglass thing going too followed up by the cowboy boots i think i haven't really seen her in heels but cowboy boots i think are something she can add into her wardrobe and i think it would be a nice addition especially on these these happen to be golden goose uh 
um, python skin but whatever cowboy boots you come into i think it adds a nice contrast into the whole look the necklace i think would be perfect the gold necklace just to add on to her her natural skin tone color um, her undertones just to brighten that up and add because the whole dress shows a lot of shoulder i think this would be perfect so yeah that's look number two i i know you guys are there on the other side be like oh no we're on the last look don't go come back <laughs> but we're on the last look so for look number three i wanted to give her really chic type of look you know something i'm not used to seeing her in but i think she would really kill so first we have a nice white t-shirt but we're gonna open the shoulders we're gonna do the whole open shoulder thing again followed by this nice zara 90s skirt i think they call it the 90s skirt it's a long skirt and i figured she put it here by her waist and then finish it off with a nice pair of Doc Martens. So we're going to open the shoulders just to give a bit of volume by the shoulders. And it's really like, it's a nice touch, you know, just to show a bit of skin. Um, and you know, it's just, it adds a vibrant, youthful touch to the whole look. Then we have this 90s, the 90s skirt by Zara. But we're gonna put it by the waist so you know so you see her true waistline and also like we did with the asymmetric dress it also gives more volume to her hips because it comes in and then goes out again so we create this nice hourglass shape again like i said with all rectangular body shapes you can do so much because by pulling some things out taking something off you can create any shape within a body you want and then just to finish it off with a pair of Doc Martens, I think they add this rugged, grungy aesthetic to the whole look. Um, the skirt also has a slit at the back, which also adds a nice feminine touch. So yeah, that's that look. I think it's a very nice chic look, not too much on the feminine side, and it has enough grit in it as well to like be rouge and you know, for the purse for who we know rouge is i think it keeps on brand in addition we'd add, add some jewelry there you know some rings i think a nose ring would be perfect i'm not really with chokers but if she feels like it i think she could add a nice black choker but really just the rings and the nose ring i think would be a nice addition to this whole look just to finish it off oh and also she could put on that the, she wore this hat in a picture she recently uploaded on Instagram where she's standing with Muesli she has this nice black hat I think this would finish it off really nicely so we done look one two and three I hope you really enjoyed it if you have a rectangular body shape I hope this gave you some tips and also kind of opened your eyes to things that you may want to do in the future to your whole look Alright guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do all the things that you do on the other channels because this channel is just as good. <laughs> and I'll catch you next time. Hit me up on the socials. I'm not that scary and I talk sometimes. But please stay safe and peace.